and I'm going to try this idea of vlogging rather than a show. So there's no real theme to this particular show, just a bunch of stuff put together. I'll give it a try. Maybe I'll be able to post more videos this way. So after you watch this, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Nothing like a quiet walk in the wilderness. Of course, we didn't do a lot of walking ourselves, thanks to this guy and some serious equipment getting us in this far. But it's all about the bushcraft today, not necessarily the hike. This is from uh, Malcolm, head and woodsman. Scorching, Scorpion HD from Pathfinder shop. This is a pouch I made. Gators I made. I got a mix match of everything. I can't find a better backpack than a five gallon bucket. So I guess we'll see some really interesting stuff come out of that pack. So we're trying out the new Hulk sled. This is its debut run. Seeing how this works out. Uh, so far so good. <laughs> I think my pack will float if I bump right. I think. I don't really want to try it. So we're walking across the lake here. The ice is probably thick enough to hold us, we're pretty sure. Obviously we wouldn't be out here otherwise, but we're not walking together just to make sure. That could be wolf track. There's some big canine tracks with claws. Could be a wolf. Sure hope it is. Whew. It's getting a little warm. It's uh, going up to plus three today. Really strange winter we've been having this year. I should need snowshoes to get around this time of year. There isn't even enough snow for that. the hill here. A little weight. A little bit of weight on there. But we have arrived at our wilderness camp. Now normally I don't do this uh, show off equipment that I'm trying out for the first time uh, in detail because I haven't really tried it out. But this Hulk sled is working better than I expected. It really is tracking nice behind me here. Now I am on a frozen lake, which obviously is going to be easier. Okay, so what I have here is a plastic sleigh, a pressed plastic sleigh, basically a child's toboggan for $22. And then I added $56 worth of hardware, all stainless steel. I spent the extra money so that it wouldn't rust, considering I'm going to be using it in the winter time. So I have two U clamps, uh, two more um, U clamps, four I bolts. Uh, two pieces of UPC uh, plastic poles attached to two spring clips and those spring clips are attached to two pieces of webbing that I sewed onto my fanny pack slash survival kit and the spring clips attached to two rings. Now, I did watch a few videos before I put together this project myself. Um, Suge Emery had a really good video on the pulk sled that he created for himself. I also watched uh, Wah Hiker to see what he had, and Winter Trekker. 
and there are a few others uh, that I watched as well. So you might see that this design is a combination of several other designs that I've seen. And since I am proficient at sewing with nylon fabric, I had to add a custom cover to go over the whole setup. And I'm pretty proud of how it turned out. Yeah, the ice feels a little spongy. Makes me a little nervous. This is my sleep set. Uh, I would consider it four seasons. Maybe it would go down to about maybe minus 10 how I have set up com comfortably. Uh, I have a little bit of a mismatch of different things. Uh, tarp is uh, Drax are better. Quilt or Drax are better. I have a military uh, poncho liner. That's kind of a, a form of my pod at Rama hammock. And I have a Hennessy hammock, uh, ASAM uh, Zip Deluxe. And then I have homemade sus suspension systems. So the main part of the system is the quilts. Uh, I tried hammock camping without quilts. Uh, under quilt uh, specifically and it uh, it was okay but I found it was very difficult to keep the underside of me uh, warm so I bit the biscuit I spent uh, good money in my opinion and went with uh, Jacks are better quilts this quilt here is called the Mount Washington 3 uh, there is a Mount Washington 4 this I don't even, I don't remember what the weight is on this but it is m minimal um, very comfortable uh, I made my own suspension systems with just uh, generic bungees you can buy at any outfitter. Uh, the top quilt that goes inside the hammock is called the Sierra Sniveller. Uh, very good. A couple of interesting things that Jacks Better does with their quilts. This is a almost like a, uh, a, a bedspread. Uh, like a quilt on your bed. You can have four corners as a regular blanket or Jacks are better will put a foot box in it that you can cinch up, bring it together and keep your feet warm when it's winter. Also another feature they have in this the uh, sniveler is it has this center point which you actually you can stick your head through and use this as a, a poncho uh, if it's very cold out. You can actually wear this as a garment. The ground's not frozen so we can actually drive pegs to set up the tarps. So this is a really good idea for a U-frame aluminum pack frame. Just cut out a cutting board and attach it to the bottom and now you've got a work service for a little kitchen. I think it's a fantastic idea. This is a, they call it the Swedish stove with a, it's, like, it's kind of like a Swedish stove and a rocket stove built into one. So we're going to try and make a fire using the silky as the steel. Are we ready? I think so. So what we're gonna do is gonna I have a silky gomboy 300, awesome saw. I got a piece of flint, and I'm gonna strike my gomboy on this char cloth that I made, and we're gonna put it in the uh, bird nest, and then we're gonna transfer it to the fire, and then we're going to get the fire going, and then eventually I'm gonna transfer that fire into the uh, rocket stove that we've made. Well, there you go.
Fire with a soki. Another good reason to buy one. Okay, so now that the fire is going, we're gonna see if we can get the Swedish torch going. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna ignite this birch bark and transfer the fire over. Hopefully it works. And this is a piece of oak we're trying to ignite. Once it starts going, it should just take off. So, oh, there you go. We have success. It's working. Congratulations. Thank you very much. So if you've checked out my Facebook page, you'll know that over Christmas I was working on a wooden spoon project. And here it is. And this is the first time that I have used it. Fairly happy about it. Treated it with mineral oil to seal it. A couple of uh, good coats on there. And here we go. I mean, Everybody who has a bushcraft channel has to have their own carved spoon. I think that's a rule, isn't it? <laughs> All right, we're packing up now. It's time for us to leave. It's starting to get a little later in the day and we want to be out of here before it gets dark. So I want to say thank you very much for watching. I'm thinking this was more like a bit of a, a blog, a vlog video. Um, so if you like these kind of videos, let me know in the comments down below and I'll try and do more of them. I really appreciate your feedback, appreciate your views. Thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the comments. Bye for now. Hear that? That's that raven, eh? Yeah. coming back to get that sausage. Might be. I was just out on the lake there and uh, it's starting to rain. Oh really? Yep. Well, this will be good time. Time to go. That uh, cover is uh, going to come in handy in this rain. Sweet. I'm really impressed with that. This was given to me by Mobile Tech and he's rated it pretty high. Not really hungry enough to eat this meal just yet. Those sausages were really good. Stay tuned to the channel. You'll see me review this Mountain House biscuits and gravy. But I want to send a special thanks out to Mobile Tech for making sure that I got this.